Hello everyone! In this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator and of course here's the problem. We have 6 divided by 2 and times 3. No huge number, just 6, 2 and 3. And what is the answer? Of course most of you out there like, yes I can handle this, this is basic like division, basic multiplication, I learned this stuff in the third grade and that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer into a comment section and I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one minute and then of course I'm going to really kind of emphasize this extremely important math topic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. Right here we have an option A and B, first option is 9, so just two options, and so the answer is either going to be like 9 or 1, yeah? So some of you have the answer as, as 1, others have the answer as 9, and of course this can turn into a big argument. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is the problem, obviously, right? We have 6 divided by 2 and times 3. Now, what make all the difference in the world if the order we do this problem, right? So, do we do division first and then multiplication or, or in the another way? Okay, because obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So, we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem and we will have our correct answer. And that's for this little acronym comes in here and again we are talking about the order of operations. We are talking about this type of operations, so mathematical operation. So, a math operator is things like, like addition, like subtraction, like multiplication and like division. So, this is mathematic mathematical operation, everyone know it, you, sh you should know it. Okay, so these are things that we, we can do with numbers, right? So mathematical operation, these are basically the main ones we need to understand. So this is the first step you need to, to understand to solve this problem correctly. So mathematical operation, I hope you know it. So again, let me just read this to you. This is PMDMC order right here, the main order, so we use this order all over the world. And so this is our order. We have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So now a lot of students think and you know it's really not their fault. A lot of students make this error. So you know obviously there's confusion about it. But most people think that you're going to do this in a strict left to right. Left to right <coughs> order. In other words, what you see from the left hand side, you're just going to you're going to go to the right hand, yeah? So you're going to do that in that exact order. <coughs> in other words, you're always going to do multiplication, all right, before division right here, and that makes sense. And then of course you would do addition before before subtraction. However, that's not the way this works. Okay, so how does it work? Well, it works in this way. You're definitely going to do the parentheses, as I described, and you're definitely going to do the powers. So, however, you're going to work from left to right, but when you get to the multiplication and division part, and addition and subtraction part, what you're going to do is whatever you see, so it comes first from left to right. So, in other words, if you have division then multiplication, we're going from left to right. Then you're going to do the division first. So, this is like one group right here. This is like one group and this is like another group. Multiplication, this is like another group. So, if you have multiplication and then division, then you of course do multiplication first and then division. But if you have division then multiplication, you're going to do it in this way. Okay, so if you made this error, I'm happy you made it because you won't make this again and you'll be like, okay, uh, let's go ahead and apply the order of operations. Now pretty easy stuff. So, so here's our problem. Okay, so anytime you're faced with like a numeric expression and you'll get better at this through practice. You want to be thinking to yourself, okay, PMDMC order or math operation from left to right and you, you're you solve this problem. But right now let's try to solve it correctly. This 
before this it was like a little notes right here for you i want you to understand like your basics but right now let's try to solve it so you move on to the next thing now i'm going to say all right are there any powers parentheses exponent right here we don't have it no i don't see any of those so now i'm thinking to myself multiplication and division i will go right here i will go like we have like six dividing by two and times times three and of course that's going to give me the wrong answer if we don't work with groups right here so we go with multiplication we will have like two times three we'll have six and then division six divided by six equal to equal to one but as i told before we need to work in groups so multiplication and division we need to work in one one group so it doesn't matter multiplication division or division multiplication this is like one group and it give us like an incorrect answer so why one is incorrect and when one will be correct answer so i write it right here when you write this problem like that so six divided by two times three but two times three we will have like in parentheses take a look closely let's go right here we have parentheses at first and in our parentheses we have these two times three which is equal to six and let's go next don't have exponents of so six divided by six don't have multiplication six divided by six and we have division six divided by six which is equal to one so if you want to get one right here you need to have these parentheses and this is a really important moment and of course one is incorrect answer i write it right here one is incorrect 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 answer but let's go next so you want to be thinking in terms of group so multiplication and division this is like one group and now we are scanning do i have multiplication and division well of course i do i have division and multiplication so now i'm asking myself which is first from left to right I have division before multiplication from left to right so i'm going to do this so six divided by i write it right here so six divided by two and times three so we have like six divided by two but because this is like the first operation from left to right we have like a, a group multiplication division and this is the first one division we have like six divided by two our answer is three yeah six divided by two equal to three and there's the only thing that left to do which of course is three times three which is equal to which is equal to nine and this is a correct correct answer as i told before when one will be correct answer for this step for this option b when you have a parenthesis okay now some of you out there if you plug in if you type this into like a basic calculator yeah even into like a basic calculator on your laptop on your telephone so some of those calculator are just going to do the problem as you type it in so but if you use something a like little more sophisticated like scientific calculator or centrally like graphing calculator where you can just type the problem like this and then you hit enter and you see that the answer is nine because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operations and of course you can easily write in the comment you can easily take your telephone right now and you plug in this expression and you just share with us what you what your answer one or nine this will be really interesting so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting interesting brain test iq question right if you are struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept subscribe to my channel i definitely wish you all the best in your in your mathematics adventure just don't be don't be don't feel sad if you got this wrong a really interesting topic i hope a lot of countries a lot of discussion about pmdmc about board math, but i wanted you to to share with this with this problem so as you can see no huge number no addition no powers no no parentheses just division multiplication and like in the third grade we we know this mathematical operation and we can easily solve it but two option to to wait how to solve it to order of operation and of course we we know about the correct we know we know about the correct answer share with uh, with us in the comment about your calculator how how what is your answer in your in your telephone for example so i i i think your answer will be one but if you want to get this nine you need to use like scientific calculator or like graphing calculator 
So I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. So thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos. Thank you and have a great day.